capture fisheries. Pre-licensure examination. 1. The taking of fishery species by passive or active gear for trade, business, or profit. Beyond subsistence or sports fishing. a. Municipal fisheries. b. Commercial fisheries. c. Artisanal fisheries. d. Subsistence fisheries. Answer. b. Commercial fisheries. Fishing with passive or active gears and vessels greater than 3 gross tonnage. 2. The maximum gross tonnage to qualify as municipal fishing vessel. 2.9 GT 3.0 GT 3.1 GT None of these. Answer. B. 3.0 GT Municipal fishing within municipal waters using vessels of 3 gross tons or less, or fishing without the use of a vessel. 3. It is the period where taking of a specified fishery species or the use of a specified fishing gear or both is prohibited in a specified areas in Philippine waters. A. Open season. B. Closed season. C. Catch ceiling. D. Total allowable catch. Answer. B. Closed season. Defined by RA 8550 as amended by RA 10654. It shall be unlawful to fish during closed season. 4. Also called subsistence fishermen. A. Municipal fishermen. B. Artisanal fishermen. C. Small scale fishermen. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Subsistence fishermen can be called municipal or artisanal as they only fish small scale, lesser than 3 gt without the need of using vessels. 5. Blank is one who owns and provides the means including land, labor, capital, fishing gears and vessels, but does not personally engage in fishery. A fisherman. B. Fishery operator. C. Capitalist. D. Businessman. Answer. B. Fishery operator. One who owns and provides the means including land, labor, capital, fishing gears and vessels, but does not personally engage in fishery. 6. Marine fisheries refers to all activities, fishing, culturing, preserving, processing, marketing, developing, conserving and managing, of living resources in the coastal and open seas in the service of human needs or markets. Marine fisheries resources include fishes, invertebrates, etc. In the Philippines, the distinct sectors in marine fisheries production are a commercial marine fisheries b aquaculture fisheries c municipal and commercial fisheries d municipal and inland fisheries answer c municipal and commercial fisheries both are involved in activities capturing and collecting marine resources 7 it is an executive order referring to the guidelines and procedures for the availment by commercial fishers of the tax duty exempt importation of fishing vessels and tax and duty rebates on fuel consumption. A. EO. Number 117. B. EO. Number 209. C. EO. Number 305. D. EO. Number 1047. Answer. B. EO. Number 209. Guidelines provided for Section 35 of Republic Act No. 8550. 8. It is an executive order signed by President GMA on April 2, 2004 devolving to municipal and city governments the registration of fishing vessels 3, 3, gross tonnage and below. A. EO. Number 117. B. EO. Number 209. C. EO. Number 209. D. EO. Number 305. Answer. D. EO. Number 305. Registration is required by the LGU to regulate municipal fishing vessels. 9. What are the different types of commercial fisheries? 
a small scale and large scale. B small scale, medium scale, and large scale. C large scale only. D none of the above. Answer. B. Small scale, medium scale, and large scale. Small scale is fishing with passive or active gears and vessels of 3.1 GT up to 20 GT. Medium scale is fishing with passive or active gears and vessels of 20.1 GT up to 150 GT. Large scale is fishing with passive or active gears and vessels of more than 150 GT. 10. Fishing utilizing active gears and vessels of more than 150 gross tons. A large scale. B small scale. C medium scale. D commercial scale. Answer. A large scale. Large scale is fishing with passive of active gears and vessels of more than 150 GT. 11. Highest catch among commercial fishing gears in the country. A per seine. B. Trawl. C. Dynamite. D. Beach Seine. Answer. A. Purse Seine. Most commercial production by gear, Purse Seine is the highest, 61.1%. 12. Most effective municipal fishing gear in terms of catch in the Philippines. A. Push Net. B. Hook and Line. C. Cast Net. D. Gill Net. Answer. D. Gill Net. Gill Net has the most production in municipal fisheries, 45.5%. 13. Highest of volume of catch in Philippine municipal fisheries in terms of species in 2016. A. Indian sardines. B. Tilapia. C. Siganids. D. Round scad. Answer. A. Indian sardines. Frigate tuna was recorded to be the highest in production. 74.5 mt, for municipal fisheries. 14. Highest volume of fish caught in Philippine commercial fisheries in terms of species in 2016. A. Indian sardines. B. Frigate tuna. C. Yellowfin tuna. D. Prawns. Answer. A. Indian sardines. Has the highest production, 205.9 mt in terms of commercial fisheries. 15. In terms of municipal fisheries production, the two most productive fishing gears are the following. A gill net and spear. B gill net and hook and line. C beach seine and fish corral. D long line and fish pot. Answer. B gill net and hook and line. Gill net and hook and line are the most commonly used in municipal fishing. 16. In terms of commercial fisheries production, the two most productive fishing gears are the following. A trawl and purse seine. B. Danish seine and ringnet. C. Purse seine and ringnet. D. Bagnet and trawl. Answer. C. Purse seine and ringnet. Purse seine and ringnet are commonly used in commercial fishing. 17. Live weight equivalent of landings. A retained catch. B. Gross catch. C. Target catch. D. Nominal catch. Answer. D. Nominal catch. Sum of catches that are landed. 18. The weight of fish and other fishery products brought ashore. A catch. B. Landings. C. Fishing effort. D. Retained catch. Answer. B. Landings. Total weight of catch brought in ports. 19. This concept entails prohibition of fishing during the spawning season or during any season of poor quality fish. A closed season. B. Open season. C. Limited access. D. Prohibited season. Answer. A. Closed season. Period where taking of a specified fishery species or the use of a specified fishing gear or both is prohibited in a specified areas in Philippine waters. 20. A term used when the extractive capacity of the exploiting fishery exceeds that level that will bring the greatest benefit to society. A. Exploited. B. Unprotected. C. Overharvesting. D. Overfishing. Answer. D. Overfishing. When fish stock has a massive decline. 
2021. A form of biological overfishing which occurs when the young fish that become available to the fishery are caught before they can grow to a reasonable size. A growth overfishing. B. Recruitment overfishing. C. Ecosystem overfishing. E. Economic overfishing. Answer. A. Growth overfishing. Growth overfishing is when the fish stock being caught are comparatively smaller. 22. A form of growth overfishing which occurs when the parent stock is reduced to the extent that not enough young fish are produced to ensure that the stock will maintain itself. A growth overfishing. B. Recruitment overfishing. C. Ecosystem overfishing. D. Economic overfishing. Answer. B. Recruitment overfishing. Is the catching of fish stocks bearing eggs or that are about to reproduce? 23. Part of catch that has been returned to the sea at the time of capture. A. Discarded catch. B. Landings. C. Target catch. D. Retained catch. Answer. A. Discarded catch. Catch refers to whole fish or other aquatic organisms discarded dead or alive, and may include species taken as bycatch. 24. Part of catch that are retained on board. A discarded catch. B. Landings. C. Target catch. D. Retained catch. Answer. D. Retained catch. Catch that makes it to the port that will be recorded as landings. 25. This fisheries administrative order prohibits operation of municipal and commercial fishing boats using active gears in municipal waters, bays, and fishery management areas. A FAO 198. B FAO 222. C FAO 201. D FAO 190. Answer. C FAO 201. FAO 198 Rules and Regulations on Commercial Fishing FAO 222 Prohibits Use of Danish Seine in Municipal Waters FAO 190 Regulations Governing Pa Alling 26. A type of fishing gear classified according to fishing method which is by covering the fish with the fishing gear and is commonly used in shallow areas. A drive-in fishing gear B. Falling gear C. Ripping fishing gear D. None of the above. Answer. B. Falling gear. Covering prey with fishing gear. 27. Matam Baka, Big Eyed Scad, and Galoon Gong, Round Scad, the major fishes caught in both municipal and commercial fisheries are regarded as A. Reef fishes. B. Small pelagic fishes. C. Demersal fishes. D. Large pelagic fishes. Answer. B. Small pelagic fishes. Includes round scads, anchovies, sardines, mackerels, herrings, fusiliers, big eye scads, flying fishes, half beaks. 28. Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. Commercial fisheries. B. Industrial fisheries. C. Large scale fisheries. D. Artisanal fisheries. Answer. B. Industrial fisheries. Commercial fisheries also refers to large-scale fishing. Artisanal fisheries refers to small-scale fishing. 29. The fisheries which embrace fishing with or without the use of boat of 3 GT or less. A. Commercial fisheries. B. Municipal fisheries. C. Industrial fisheries. D. Capture fisheries. Answer. B. Municipal fisheries. Municipal fishing within municipal waters using vessels of three gross tons or less, or fishing without the use of a vessel. 30. A purse saner operating in the South China Sea was inspected to be 30 GT. Which of the following is true? A. The boat is commercial. B. The boat is medium scale commercial. C. The boat is a catcher. D. All of the above. Answer. B. The boat is medium-scale commercial. Is fishing with passive or active gears and vessels of 20.1 GT up to 150 GT. 31. Which of the following is true? A. 
There are more municipal fishermen than commercial fishermen. B. There are less number of commercial fishing boats than municipal fishing boats. C. The production of commercial fisheries is higher than municipal fisheries in the national capital region. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. There are less commercial fishermen because they use large vessels to catch and needs less vessels. Since they use large vessels that can have up to 150 mt of catch they have more than municipal fishers which can only catch up to 3 mt each. 32. This refers to areas in any body of water where fish and other aquatic resources congregate and become objects of capture. A. Fishing grounds. B. Fishing sector. C. Fisheries. D. All of the above. Answer. A. Fishing grounds. Area to catch fish. 33. It is a type fishing gear towed by a banca to catch pelagic fish such as mackerels, tuna, and other small pelagic fish. A. Troll line. B. Hook and line. C. Bottom set long line. D. Drift long line. A. Troll line. Usually used in municipal fisheries to catch fish. 34. The following are some major parts of a wooden fishing boats. One item from the selection are not parts of fishing boats which ladder from A to D do not belong to the group. A. Stern, starboard, port side. B. Draft, deck, bulwark. C. Tiller, frame, keelson. D. Watermarks, gunnel, steam. Answer. D. Watermarks, Gunnel, Steam. Stern, Starboard, Port Side, Draft, Deck, Bulwark, Tiller, Frame and Keelson are parts of wooden boat. 35. Which differentiates a purse seine from a ring net? A. Rectangular in shape. B. No distinct bag. C. Vertically set in water to surround pelagic fish school. D. Usually with purse line. E. None of the above. Answer. E. None of the above. Ring net works like a purse seine but with a bunt or bag at the central part. 36. Fishing device characterized by gear movements. A. Passive fishing gear. B. Surrounding fishing gear. C. Active fishing gear. D. Falling fishing gear. Answer. C. Active fishing gear. Catching of fish by movement by towing, lifting, and pushing the gears, surrounding, covering, dredging etc. 37. Fishing gears used in municipal fisheries. A. Multiple hook and line, bottom set long line, bagnet, lift nets, falling gear, fish corral. B. Purse seine, drive in nets, bagnet. Tuna drift long line. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Multiple hook and line, bottom set long line, bagnet, lift nets, falling gear, fish corral. These are fishing gears used in municipal fishing, including troll lines, crab traps, fish pots, squid pots, cast nets, fike net, set net, in nets ring net and hand instruments. 38. Local name of cast net. A. Dala. B. Tabucal. C. Bintari. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Local names of cast net are, Tabucal, Dala, Bintari, Laya. 39. What are the major species in commercial fisheries? One round scad, Indian sardines, Frigate tuna. 2. Skipyak, yellowfin tuna, big eyed scad. 3. Fimbriated sardines, slipmouth, eastern little tuna. A1 and 2. B1 and 3. C1, 2 and 3. D2 and 3. Answer. C1, 2 and 3. The top 10 major species in commercial fisheries. 40. Which of the following is a large pelagic fish? A. Skipyak. B. Round scad. C. Anchovies. D. Flying fish. Answer. A. 
skip yak, tuna, skip yak, yellowfin, big eye etc., are large pelagic fishes. 41. Which of the following are demersal fishes? A. Lapu Lapu, Maya Maya, Sap Sap, Bitala. B. Galung Gong, Dalagang Bukid, Dilis. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Lapu Lapu, Maya Maya, Sap Sap, Bitala. These are all demersal, bottom, fishes including alacoc, talakatok, kalazo etc. 42. Government agency responsible for the development, improvement, management and conservation of the country's fisheries and aquatic resources. A. Department of Environment and Natural Resources, DENR. B. Local Government Unit, LGU. C. Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR. D. Fisheries and Aquatic Resource Management Councils, FARMCs. Answer. C. Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR. The Bureau is under the Department of Agriculture. Its responsibilities were reconstituted as a line bureau by virtue of RA 8550. 43. Species primary sought or aimed by the fishers. A. Target catch. B. Unwanted catch. C. Total catch. D. Discarded catch. Answer. A. Target catch. Unwanted catch is the catch that is not the target species. Total catch is the sum of catch. Discarded catch is an unwanted catch that is returned to the sea. 44. Which of the following is false? A. Purse Seine is an active and a commercial gear. B. Setgill Net is a municipal and passive gear. C. Troll is an active gear. D. Danish Seine is a passive gear. Answer. D. Danish Seine is a passive gear. Danish Seine is an active gear. 45. The minimum mesh size requirement for tuna purse Seine under FAO 188. A. 3.5 inches. B. 3.0 inches. C. 3.0 centimeters. D. 1.9 centimeters. Answer. A. 3.5 inches. FAO 188 prohibits commercial fishing boats from using tuna per seine nets with a mesh size less than 3.5 inches. 46. Refers to the document slash s issued by the BFAR which give permit to a vessel and the kind of fishing. Gear to conduct fishing operations. A. Commercial fishing vessel and gear license. B. Municipal fishing vessel and gear license. C. Fishing permit. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Commercial fishing vessel and gear license. Issuance of this is under FAO 198 to 1. 47. Which of the following fishing gears is prohibited in municipal waters? A. Ring net. B. Handline. C. Gill net. D. Fish trap. Answer. A. Ring net. Is banned in municipal waters. Same with trawl, purse seine, Danish seine, drive in net, round haul seine, motorized push net, bag net. Fishing gears using compressors. 48. How many kilometers is the municipal waters from the coastline? A. 15. B. 20. C. 25. D. 30. Answer. A. 15. Municipal waters includes general coastline including offshore inlands and 15, 15, kilometers from the coastline. 49. Which of the following gear types are not prohibited under Section 90 of the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998? A. Trawl B. Beach Seine C. Danish Seine D. All of the above Answer B. Beach Seine Is not included in the prohibited fishing gears in municipal waters. Band gears are trawl, purse Seine, Danish Seine drive-in net, round-haul seine, motorized push net, ring net, bag net, 
fishing gears using compressors. 50. What is the penalty for commercial fishing in municipal waters? A. 6 months imprisonment. B. Fine equivalent to value of catch or 10,000 pesos whichever is higher. C. Confiscation of gear. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. These are all under RA 10654.